Hey, what's up, y'all? So, uh, I want to show you guys real quick the tunnels. It's actually pretty easy. You just need to know a few things. Um, the tunnels right on the waterfalls. So, uh, you probably already figured it out, but I'm going to quickly show you real quick. Uh, let me just place a few tunnels. Um, it's pretty easy to see, of course, the cliff's already lining up. So, it's really easy to know where to place it obviously um, the little shadow part goes uh, on the white part over here on the outside cliffs pretty easy so I'm gonna make all these tunnels for you to show you uh, you can also press D on your keyboard and then you can puzzle without heights so if it's easier for you or sometimes it's not with tunnels it's not really necessary not really needed so um, for the front entrances you're gonna need the tunnel side which is of course pretty obvious but for the back ones uh, you don't so that's pretty easy so now we've created the tunnels uh, this is just a tutorial map um, in normal maps you want to use uh, slope set pieces of course but I don't have only heightened this ground for you so um, let's get started alright so with the tunnels you want to get uh, you want to get to know the coordinates of one specific cell and that is the middle one um, right here um, this marble madness is a little bit different than the previous one but um, let's get this one as for example so you want to get the middle cell the m and if you hover your cursor above it you can see the coordinates in your bottom right your bottom right corner of your screen so you want to get those coordinates okay so let's start off making um, the tunnel from here <laughs> to here which is kind of silly but um, I just want to do that for tutorial purposes so um, we're also concerned with the middle one inside the cliff right here so this one is 35 by 80 so let's open up the tunnel drawer tool and this is the tool that will help you get your coordinates yeah so um, I will provide the link in the uh, description of this video so uh, it's a little flash tool uh, you're probably gonna have to activate or download flash if you don't have it so um, it was what was it 35 by 80 so what we're gonna have to do first we're gonna have to make sure our tunnel is horizontal the way we have it right here 30 and press the coordinates right here 35 by 80 and you can press enter and then for the next one we want if you press D on a keyboard it's easier to see the middle one <laughs> we want these coordinates so it's 68 by 53 we'll type that one in here 68 by 53 and press enter and as you can see this is our tunnel so we want to make sure we uh, draw our tunnel right because you enter in like this way <laughs> and then you exit this way so we're gonna have to draw it like that so for our first one I, I use the corner one and then um, close it again Oh, the sideways. Oh, um, I had this one wrong. So let's change this one to the side. All right. So let's click this one again. Click. Click. <laughs> and let's see right there. No, wrong. So I think it's um, when you press escape, you cancel the one that you're drawing. So let's see. It doesn't really matter if you're wrong. You can always click more often. <laughs> so um, I can just do this for tutorial purposes right now. It doesn't matter. So let's draw the second one, the middle one, right there. Nope, almost. It doesn't matter. I mean, for you it probably does, but for me right now it does not. And make sure it ends right there so sorry for the weird drawing but it still works that's the beauty about it um, so now we have all these coordinates here and these we're gonna have to copy into our map so press copy the clipboard so now it's copied into our clipboard and we're gonna have to uh, save our map yeah and uh, I named the tunnel tutorial so go to your map file uh, I use uh, everything that's a little software that searches really quick so open up your map um, you can also just browse it browse your map file and if you never open up a map before you can right click it and press open with 
and then you can find notepad or, or wordpad and then so when you open it you will get your screen it will start like this and then you can open up a little space right here and paste it in here you can press ctrl v or right click paste so there we go that's that's the tubes that we want so press ctrl s to save or file save and then now we edited the file so we got to reload it in final sun so that's don't forget to reload it so that's our first tunnel so let's create the second one right now and of course we want a framework mode again to find the middle one so this one is 77 by 101 and because we want to start our second tube we want to we want to start at number six because the first tunnel we created had five lines so we want to start at number six okay so you want to press right here at index press six and press enter and then you can press um, in the tool you can press c on your keyboard to uh, to delete all your all your drawings and so well, which one was this one again 77 by 101 so let's start with this one horizontal 77 101 enter and then we want to go to this one this one is 68 by 73 I already had 68 in here 73 um, let's change this one alrighty press enter so this is the drawing that I want so right now we're gonna have to draw there we go Click the middle one and the third one and as you can see it started with six right now so we can press copy the clipboard again and let's paste this one in our map too so if you made any more changes in final sun uh, the beauty of notepad plus plus is that will ask you to reload so you can press yes anyway um there we go we got all the lines neatly under under the tech tube so press ctrl s to save your map and um that's it that's how you make the tunnels so i'm gonna um i'm gonna test, test it real quick see if it works Yeah, Order just like the way we draw it. Pretty cool, received. right? Yeah. And Sir, now this one. Oops. Excellent. Yeah, but we draw that one pretty weird. <laughs> but they all work. So yeah, that's the way to do it, guys. Uh, let's see if I can give you more tips. Battle control offline. So if you want to align your tunnel um, better, uh, you can, of course, press Control C or edit copy. And then you can kind of like capture or you can see it better without marble mode. Press Control C and then you can, if you click once, it will capture it with this little grid and then click. And then you've got it copied in your keyboard. <laughs> and looking, you can just like realign it really quick. It's pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> And of course, you delete cliffs and tunnels with just ground and clear. You can make a big, bigger brush, brush size or hold shift and just draw it. So I think that's all you need to know about tunnels. Have fun, guys.